what is the most important skill for every developer in 2019? Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphrase.com. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. What is the number one skill that every developer needs for 2019? It's very simple. This is something that anybody can answer, right? And I want you guys to think about it. What do you think it is, right? It's very simple, something that you bump into all the time. It is not giving up, okay? Being able to not give up is a skill, right? Being able to follow through, doesn't matter what type of issues you're having, doesn't matter what type of problems you're bumping into in NPM, doesn't matter what type of language they put in front of you, what type of uh, task or what type of uh, projects a company might throw at you, you cannot give up, right? I've seen situations where people just from learning in the beginning, they disqualify themselves. They take themselves out the game. They say, oh my God, I bumped into a problem. I can't install something on my computer. Oh, I can't deal with this problems on Windows. Oh, I can't deal with this programming language. Oh, this language is so ugly. Oh, this language is this, this, and that. And it's like, you're not following through, okay? You're not following through. You gotta follow through. It doesn't matter what they put in front of you. You cannot give up, okay? I know some of us, have preferences for different type of languages I know some of us we like certain type of projects that we want to work on certain you know certain skills certain uh, programming languages whatever it is that we want to do but when you're working with a, a client or you working with a company it's not really about what do you love right it's more about what gets the job done and I see a lot of people that they put them on on a project like let's say doing something with PHP and they're miserable they're like oh my god I gotta drag my feet to do this oh, oh my god I'm ready to quit I'm ready to give up I don't want to be doing PHP I'm a Python guy I love Python that's what I love or a guys who've been you know learning Node.js in a, in a boot camp and then finally they have to go do some Ruby or they have to do Python and they're like oh my god Node.js is so much better I like to keep everything within JavaScript and it's like bro you can't give up right doesn't matter what they put in front of you you just find a solution right when you are a developer you are basically somebody who gets paid to find solutions and create solutions for businesses and for other you know clients right so in reality it's not about the language it's not about the stack it's not about uh, how hard things get it's about getting the job done if you have that quality right if you have that skill of not giving up, right, and being able to find solutions to problems, you're going to be successful. If you're going to be the guy that's going to complain about everything, if you're going to be the guy who is going to say, oh, I'm an Angular developer, sir, I don't do React, you're not going to get nowhere. You're not going to get very far, especially in this game, because in reality, when you get paid as a developer, technically you're supposed to be able to do any type of technology like that's the skill that you're supposed to have you're supposed to understand programming and understand how things work and the concepts and be able to pick up any language any type of project that they throw at you you know some guys think that because they got hired to a company and they're only gonna do the front end like they don't have to touch the back end no you're in the company if they need you to do something go ahead do it you know what I mean like get in there so that's something that I want to bring up guys don't give up I know everybody's gonna bump into problems you gotta understand there's gonna be problems with every single programming language there's gonna be problems in every single company there's gonna be problems in every single stack there is no perfect stack there is no perfect programming language right you get paid to do the difficult work if everything was easy and everything was just copy and paste you wouldn't be getting paid this much if everything was copy and paste you wouldn't be getting this much okay that's the reality right and a lot of you guys that are jumping into this career for the money right you gotta understand a doctor doesn't get paid three hundred thousand dollars just for one single thing to come in and give shots right that guy has to know a lot of things it's the same thing for a developer right we don't come in to just put in anchor links 
or create just an HTML table, we get paid to do more difficult work, right? And we get paid very well for a reason. So you got to understand, don't give up. If you have that skill, you're going to get very far in this industry. And I want you to keep this in mind. It doesn't matter if you're here for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. It doesn't matter. You're still going to find problems and issues, right? And you're not supposed to give up. There's guys that I've seen that were doing like Lisp back in the days or, you know, been doing Erlang since Erlang was created. Like those guys, those guys don't come in and give up. Those guys, they just come in, do their work, they find problems, and they follow through. If you're able to do that, you're going to be successful.